Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverage is a very nice tea, Earl Grey, very hot, owl painful. Welcome back to the game and in the previous episode we constructed this. We spent a lot of money on concrete and probably even more money on the glass wall here. And let me just go ahead and pick up the long term investment because apparently it didn't save it. Hmm, bit of a bug there. So yes, this is what we created and a couple of people commented that it looks like something. Not too sure what. Either way, we now have the power plant put in as well as the capacitors and in this episode we want to go for health and well-being, we want to go for cell block A and just generally progress on with all that in mind. Let's go over to our walls and doors and to some glass walls here and the idea is we need to make at least one of these rooms into an infirmary. Now ideally... Uh, this room and this room, if we're going to have it, and I'm still not convinced we should, these will be visitation. So I'm going to rule those out, however I think probably the best uh, place for it will be, say, I think it'll be here actually, and we'll have this as our infirmary. So that'll go there, doors that will be placed is a standard door up the top there, a staff door down the bottom, and then in terms of rooms, obviously you want to set this as an infirmary like so, and that is requiring a medical bed. Now, at this stage in the game, I'm, I'm going to place one medical bed, but we are almost certainly not going to outfit it with everything because this is just trying to get the grants done in order to build up a basic a basic thing. There has been some questions regarding when we're going to get prisons, especially from uh, people who have not perhaps seen other series. The general idea is that we plan and then build and get a, I wouldn't say advanced, but certainly a quite decently furnished a prison before we get the the inmates and such just so we're not fighting through that it's just how i prefer to build and how it's been done for a while anyway let's just double check our bureaucracy here and can see that yes psychology has been upgraded so that is good i'm also going to select deployment and maybe surveillance and we need to hire a couple of people we need to get a psychologist for one of the grants we need to hire a chief just so they can crack on with that research there and once you have the medical bed and two doctors, this one will be complete. So there's the two doctors. It's just a case of placing in that medical bed, which I will prioritise. Although, where's it coming from? It's literally been brought in through the front door there. So no real dramas on that front. We will get to that and have that done shortly after that. It's cell block A. And then, sadly, let's say the long-term investment that had about 70 hours to go. But now it's, uh, well, <laughs> it's got a little bit longer. We also have things like visitation rights we have security procedure certification which we pretty much can get now which is interesting prisoner reform no acclimatization and engagement we can actually do that now I think uh, kitchen laundry and cleaning cupboard well we do have the kitchen we don't have the laundry but we'll have to get one and cleaning cupboard we can have as a it's just a small thing, and that would give us 10 grand, followed by a 10 grand advanced payment. So let's go ahead and pick up that one. Why not? So the idea was to have the uh, the cleaning cupboard maybe around here so prisoners can work on it, but people have suggested that we change it up and put it back here because the idea is that it will never be accessed by prisoners anyway so why not put it over here and I actually think that's an excellent idea which is what we're going to do this thing by the way will probably be altered because we're gonna have some pathways going down here and I don't like just a single staff door there what I'll probably end up doing is having like a security sort of section here with a nice yard for the expansion but again that's something we can discuss when we actually do said expansion so that's gonna go across there the walls are going to go across there and I think that is fine for the sizing of the sizing of this again we do want to go with green energy but this will we're going to plan off at least two of these anyway these um these power plants just because it's it's just best to do so isn't it okay over to the walls then that will run across and then we're going to go to room and type in the laundry here which I've not unlocked so let me just do that first it is maintenance and cleaning and it is... where is it? Oh, also unlocks the laundry prison labour. Right, fine. That will do quite nicely. Um, so can we build other stuff in the meantime? We probably can. Let's go to foundations, more, and then over to the glass wall here. And then clicky clicky draggy draggy, that is 8,460 generic units of currency. The door we'll put on as the standard door. I'm going to use keycard doors. 
But those are only going to be for the people that are going to be outfitted with, or at least, yeah, fitted, maybe. Anyway, the, the guys that have got the tracking devices, we're not going to track all of our prisoners, just the ones that we deem... Uh, well, of worthy of note, so anyone that's like legendary or extremely volatile, deadly, things like that. And the idea is it will have, yeah, the tracking on those, as well as prote uh, probably protective custody as well we may go for. But anyway, for here, it's just going to be the standard jail door there. Let's just max speed that out while they crack on and uh, work on that. We have prisoner capacity needs to get to 15, funds 162 hours, and then the prisoner acclimatization and engagement, which... I obviously can't pick up the moment because I haven't got that set. We haven't got prison policy on micromanagement. Tax relief is good, but that'll give us more money, but we're a bit short on that anyway, so let's perhaps not look at that. Farming, we're not going to be picking up. Um, there was people saying about this facility that at the moment anyway, it's not so much a high... It's not so much a high risk facility uh, sorry um high tech facility it's a it's a high risk and indeed sort of um high security facility and yes i think that's what i mentioned as well in the previous uh, the very first video that this this pack is it is sci-fi it is future tech but it's also in general just the high security dlc pack anyway this should be now generated let's just see if that is the case yep there we go it's now all being expanded upon that is fine we need to do, let's say, deployment, new logistics, yes, prison labour, and one, two, three. So we've assigned three people to that one. We can go to rooms, and now we can go to the laundry, which we can then place in here. We also want to go for a, where is it? It will be in cleaning cupboard, and the cleaning cupboard is just a minimum size of three by three, so it can go there. That is actually fine. And then we can go one, two, three, one, two, three. No, we can't because it's actually not big enough. A 3x3 cleaning cupboard, you can only have two jobs. There you go. So, you live and learn. Cleaning cupboard, we'll just make that a little bit bigger because we can. And then we'll double check that. And then, there you go. That is that grant completed. I will immediately remove all of those because we are not bothering with having those just yet. We don't know what the future brings in terms of the type of prisoners that we're going to get and what roles we will assign to them. So, yeah, we're not going to rule it out. We're just not doing it at this stage. We have a prisoner, reoffending rate, reform prisoner initiative, criminally insane wing, visitation rights. It's going to be security procedure certification, isn't it? Which we need to hire a chief, which we've done, unlock 10 guards, unlock patrol through bureaucracy, and assign guards to patrol routes. So deployment's there, surveillance is there, we do need to set up patrols. We also want, honestly, policy, intelligence, CCTV improvement, and remote as well, but... Yeah, we'll see how we get on. Let's get the laundry up and running first, maybe. Yeah, we've. I mean, we we might as well. So laundry machines normally, we would place them on this area up here because you can actually physically see them, and that's not going to change because I do like the look of them. So I'm going to put them there, and then obviously we'll connect them up with some electrical cable. This also will require some ironing boards. I will use ironing boards small just because it fits in better, like so. And then laundry baskets, standard procedure. You just spam them because <laughs> they're just going to be shifted anyway. It doesn't actually matter. We also need to put some water in, so we're going to go to that, and this will be a small pipe which can run to there. Actually, I'll run it to there because. That's the side where the water's going to be on. Not that it matters. Over Overlapped utilities are perfectly acceptable. Okay, that is now fine. We need to get uh, some more guards for the security procedure certification. Not going to get that just yet. I think we're going to try and work on this cell block here. So over to our walls and doors and to the glass walls. And we want to go with all of the walls up here and then obviously on the left and right as well. And then once we've built this model cell, we will indeed go for cloning and then start cloning the thing just to see what the what the deal is with it. Mainly if we if we build it right and build it once we can then clone the whole thing to one side. I'm just going to put that in there and then run this down a little bit like so. That'll then obviously power up. We need to have a couple of things. We need a metal detector which is going to go in there. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm just going to double check that side. I'm fairly confident we were going to have it in. Another metal detector will go there. And 
let's do this. Let's go for rooms and then cells and then we'll ooh, let's assign it properly. Sign it there and sign it there. We'll also go for solitary, which is going to go in here. And then, well, let's deal with all of the objects. So we're going to put a toilet in the solitary for I would say the first time in uh, in the game, but normally we don't bother with it and maybe we probably should. Beds will also go in as well, so fairly simple. Fairly simple setup here, but you can see the money is indeed heading into the tank. We are going to be running out of this. This cell, by the way, I should point out, these are not graded. I mean, actually, technically they are graded. Everything is graded by default, and if we had, yeah, we can see room quality. It is grade zero because it's minus one because of no windows, minus one surrounded by glass walls, and no other positives. So... I don't know whether I want to go ahead and alter that and change it up so we do have it as rating 2 or 3, or whether we just, for this part of the facility, don't bother and just have it as that, and then in expansion parts we can then upgrade it, and that would also give us options quite nicely, and would segregate in quite nicely to the whole cleared for transfer thing. But we'll see, as always, what we fancy in the future when we're in the future. Gonna put some lighting in the solitary because, well, we don't have any and it is of some benefit to build that. 13,940 generic units of currency and receiving minus some amount per day. Hmm. So, we probably need to take a loan out in order to complete this, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. In fact, I'm very tempted to just clone this as it stands. So let's go to custom and cloning and we need to select all of this and we have insufficient funds and that's without us doing anything in terms of the flooring and things like that. So what we'll do is we'll just clone it, we'll get it cloned and clone it to there. Or do I want to flip it and put it up the top? No, I don't. I'm just on. About, I'm just trying to get the grants done and then at least if, if, if it's here and here we can furnish it with the rest of the stuff, which is going to be things like the common room and, yeah, that sort of thing. Get that sorted, and then we can then go for cloning and rotating, and, and yeah, that's probably the way forward. Bit of an electrical supply issue up the top here, because, well, I ain't connected it up, so probably best for us to do that. Uh, ran this cable up the top, which, as we can see, is a massive downside. Once this wall's in, it's not going to connect up to anywhere, so... Hmm, probably should have just put one in each room. Was just trying to save a little bit of cash, so... Yeah, we'll see about that one. I'll wait until the walls are in before we mess around with it. So, it looks like the prison capacity is at 66%. We are on minus 2,500. That's because of, well, all of the expenses, but also some of the, uh, some of the loan repayment. It, that being 1,250 to repay said loan. We can get the security procedure certification done if we were wanting to. Oh, there is actually the other grant done, which was the cell block... Um, it was cell block A. We now want cell block B. I'm going to go with visitation rights. And I'm going to decrease the loan again. That's still fine. We've still got a credit rating of 10.0. The reason we're doing that is we need to get a visitation room, which I don't think we're going to have. I really do think we should lean in to the whole wiring. Is it? Uh, wiring, I think. Yeah, video calling booths and trying that. But we now need some electrical cables. So we'll run that in. So that'll run to there and then run to there. And that's everything powered up. And let's go for visitation. So visitation can go up here. I don't think it needs to be surrounded. It no, it just needs to be indoors and have a visitor table or booth. So we will put a visitor table in. Actually, three of them because I believe the grant requires three of them. And yes, it does. And... <laughs> Typical. <laughs> I just wanted to place them randomly in visitation, but body would not allow. I had to have them centralized <laughs> uh, in a decent order. Anyway, 
over to rooms in the common room there and then we're going to place the common room in here like so and the similar thing in here and all we're going to do is follow what it says on the left so we need a pool table we need two tvs and at least five phone booths which is all acceptable so let's go ahead and add in the pool table so you can see all the things it recommends it's pretty much recommending the entire game so the pool table is going to go in the bottom and then we want a television, which we'll... Actually, there's the phone booths while we're on. And you notice I'm not placing them in uh, where it's asking us... To... Well, it's actually not asking us to place them anywhere. It just says have at least five phone booths. And I went ahead and didn't place that many. Um, so sort of phone booths. Let's just go for another one there and one there. And that should be sufficient. And also, what I saw... It's fire sprinkler. And I know I haven't got any in here. Before I forget, and while the game is giving me a bit of a handy reminder, let's just place them inside the kitchen, shall we? So one does not forget. Back over here then, and there's the television. So the television has got one, two, three. Actually, that was exactly right. So one there. And one in there. How are we doing for money? Seven grand. This is acceptable. And then all of our chairs. And then all of the chairs in there. And then that should be another grand completed once those two TVs are put in. And there it is. So five grand advance payment. It's actually not a lot, is it? Okay. So we'll go with maybe prison manufacturing facility. No. Green machine. Eco friendly. I mean, if we went with green machine, we could probably beast down that all green energy route but it's not something I want to do because everything is going to be shifted anyway so uh, not a big fan of that one let's go for cell block B that's the obvious choice I'm also going to remove visitation uh, sorry rooms visitation and then dismantle the visit tables obviously we're not going to delete them because we will eventually get those at least some of those used in terms of the parole haven't sacked any of the guards because obviously with the whole new upgrading system we can check them out and check on their rank if they don't have the rank button selected there they are not eligible for said ranks uh, I don't think anyone is actually because they haven't been in here long enough okay so let's get some well actually we haven't finished the cells uh, I think I jumped the gun a little bit I didn't put in the extras which was not really an extra it's more of a mandatory thing for these cells and that is the showers which is going to go in like so. And shower heads, which I can place. That's fine. And those will all go in. Do the other side. And that's now in. Haven't done the flooring on the outside. But I'm very tempted to do the flooring on the inside. Because it's something we often forget. Five grand. I, I, I don't... F yeah... Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't regret the decision, but I'm guessing I will. Let's just get some. Let's just get this put in because it's something we often leave, and it would be nice just to actually have the <laughs> the uh, the flooring in. But that's going to mean more loans. Okay, there's that in there, and staff guards. One, two, three, four, five. Over to patrol routes here. Patrol routes. One, two, three. And then we'll assign one, two, three guards. There's the grant of ten grand. Okay, so that's that grant done. Again, bit of a ticky boxes type of thing. Let's go for governmental security ratings, which is two dog handlers and armed um, patrols. We need to unlock uh, dogs and patrols. We haven't unlocked either of them. And uh, do I want to spend a bit of money on legal uh, tax relief? Tax relief. It says, takes advantage of the government tax initiative, reducing our effective corporation tax to 15%. You will save 1,500 taxes per 100,000 of daily profit. We don't have daily profits because we're not making we're not making anything, I guess. Although, does it is it classing that as income? So, federal grant is income of two grand. So, yeah. That goes from 30% to... 15% because the rest of it is just grants which isn't there so hmm we'll not bother with that one then over to water for utilities here and utilities will run 
I'm hoping it's got the it's got the distance to connect up to this one. Certainly these ones will have, but the one at the top, the jury is out on that one. Nope, it is connected up perfectly fine. And well, there we go. Okay, I think we will leave it there for now. A bit of a shorter episode there, but needs must. We have managed to get in a, a couple of things. We've got that's actually what grants yeah we've managed to get in the two cell box down here we've put in the laundry we've got the infirmary for you know for what it is um we should probably extend on that in fact you know what i will do that i will do just that because if we were to even attempt to get prisoners now it's just not going to work out at all so there's some tables in there and let's go ahead and some cookers one, two, three, four, and then the fridges, one, two, three. So at least that will now function. The infirmary also will function. This is okay. Power is not so good, so we'll put in a few more capacitors there. Yeah, your power station is severely overloaded. I'm aware. So there we go. We've got that pretty much sorted. How much would it cost for the flooring? Ah, actually, that's a question. So for the flooring, I immediately look at things like concrete tiles, but... What I really want to run because it looks really good, but this it, it's going to take some time. So, yeah, let's just run this actually, I'll, and I'll show you what it's like. This is the concrete tiles with the lines in it, and I'm just going to show you what it is like. So we'll run it to there, and the reason why I'm doing it like this is just well, you'll see hopefully. So there's all of those in, and that that's the concrete tile with lines, and then you have to put the corner pieces in so it'll be there and there um, for this bit it'll actually be that and that and I'll just have to press R. I think there's eight shapes in total six or eight um, I think I say it is the that's an internal corner that goes to there and then we get back to the concrete lines and those just go up to there and to there and that one to there. And hopefully you can see what it's like. So there's the lines. Sadly, we don't have an option for it to go into here. There's no, like, double lines. Which... Close. So we've got top, right, bottom, left. But there's no double. And these are these just, yeah. If it was, like, a double line straight down, that would be brilliant. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if there's a request I can put in, it's that. Uh, and you know, always squish bugs. Oh, what's happened there? I've accidentally placed that there, but no matter. You can see we have this in here. Actually, this piece we could have an internal bit like that, but I think if we just stick with the rule that we use the corridors, uh, so if we use, if we just use these lines for the sort of corridor areas like that, and just go straight past the rooms, if that makes sense, um, then perhaps we'll see some success. Anyway, we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Prison Architect. Hope you have enjoyed this build episode. Next episode, at a bare minimum, we're going to finish off the long-term investment. We're going to finish off cell block B. Uh, could we finish off cell block B? No, we couldn't. But it means governmental security ratings, which means security room, kennel, armory, get that done, and then we will look at... We won't be getting prisoners next episode, but I think we should aim to be able to get it after that. I think that's a decent plan. And that's about when we normally get get prisoners. So that means obviously putting walls around the outside and and well, looking at all of that. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed the episode and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.